Hey weirdos, welcome back. Happy New Year. Did you guys have an amazing New Year's? <laughs> I mean, considering, you know, pandemic and such. <laughs> um, as I'm doing this voiceover, it's not New Year's yet. It's I'm still in 2020. I'm living in the past, y'all. <laughs> that joke is going to get old super quick. I know. I'm sorry. So today's Manny is going to be part of my monthly awareness series. I'm going to play with some colors from Royal Dips. I did a video review of them. I think it was back around Halloween. I'll leave it in the cards for you guys. I love Royal Dips. It's a Canadian brand, small business. Um, but today's Manny is going to be themed around blood donor awareness. And I myself, I am a donor. I'm a blood donor. I'm an organ donor. It's on my license, you know, whatever. And I think it's so important. And I didn't even know the gravity of the situation until I went to do this voiceover and I'm doing all the research as I normally do for these videos. And I'm like, I had no idea. First of all, comment down below and let me know. This is your question of the day. Have you ever donated blood? Do you donate regularly? Or have you needed a blood transfusion or donation for some reason? You don't have to go into detail. I'm just being nosy, and my, my normal nosy and curious self, if you will. <laughs> um, I, like I said, I am a blood donor. I have not donated in quite a while. I've been kind of nervous with the whole pandemic situation. You know, I don't want to go anywhere, especially near people that touch other people. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense. You might understand what I'm saying. But if I know someone's been in contact with a bunch of people that I don't know are sick or not, I am not going anywhere near you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to be offensive, but I'm just trying to keep myself safe. Like I know most of you guys are too. But while I was doing my research, I did find a few, I don't know if I want to call them disturbing, but kind of eye-opening facts about blood donors and blood donations. So I'm getting information right now from givingblood.org. I'm going to leave some references in the description box in case any of you want to find out more about this stuff. But 4.5 million Americans, this is just Americans, will need a blood transfusion every year, which blows my mind. And with that, did you know that approximately 37% of the United States only 37% of the population is even eligible to donate blood. That's not a lot. That is not a lot. And apparently less than 10% do annually, which is crazy. It blows my mind to think that there is such a small percentage of people that are able to do this and aren't. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to live your life. <laughs> I'm not. I was kind of anti-donating blood for a really long time. And this is going to sound absolutely bonkers, but I'm going to tell you guys anyway, because um, I, you know me, I'm open, honest, and transparent on this channel, as I am in real life. I had this crazy fear that I was going to donate blood. And <laughs> I was going to wind up saving the life of like, a serial killer or a rapist or a pedophile or something crazy <laughs> like that. And I didn't know if that's something I was willing to commit to or not. And now as I've gotten uh, a little bit older and hopefully a little bit wiser, I, I'm just down to help in any way that I can. And if that means sitting in a big red bus for a half an hour or so and I don't know, having them literally suck the life out of me. <laughs> If that's going to contribute and help in some way, shape, or form, because on the flip side of that, I could be donating blood to save a kid or a mom or, you know, whoever. And that's kind of why I do what I do. And I don't know, I, I'm not going to sit here and preach that you guys need to be doing stuff because, you know, your choices are your own. And I have absolutely nothing but respect for whatever decisions you guys make because they're probably the best choices for you. But if you are able and willing, consider donating some blood. It really doesn't take a whole lot of time. It, it's not going to hurt you at all. I've done it quite a few times. And to boot, you will usually find yourself with some juice and cookies. And in my case, I don't know if they do in other parts of the country or world for that matter. But when I go to donate blood, 
they always give me like free movie tickets or like comedy show tickets or something like that. So you get a little date night out of, and bring your significant other, have a date night on the big red bus and then go have a date night after. <laughs> I mean, maybe, no, maybe don't drink. Um, unless you want to be an extremely cheap date because after you donate blood, you're pretty much useless for, or at least I am. Every time I donate blood, I'm like down for the count for the rest of the night. Like I'm not, not safe. I can drive if I need to, but I'm just wiped out, exhausted, need to replenish my fluids apparently. Thirsty AF. So that's going to be my little rant on blood donations. And I'd be curious to know down below. So definitely answer my question of the day. Anyway, we're gonna press on with the Manny. Shall we talk about nail things? <laughs> Why do I do this? Why am I like this? Um, going in with this gorgeous red, it's called Rouge from, as I mentioned, Royal Dips. I'm gonna get this on my nails and I'm gonna go in with this really beautiful black glitter. I don't know if it's black or like a really deep charcoal gray, but I, I wanted to also do some kind of nail art that for me kind of represented the whole blood donor thing. And if you think about it, blood really is like one of the foundations to life. So I figured what better art to do than what looks like kind of an EKG heartbeat type thing, because that represents life and blood is a, what, something of life? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it worked out in my head, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> so I'm gonna get into that. A little bit later it's super super simple i have seen stamps i have seen decals i have seen uh what are those things called y'all know what i'm talking about i don't even know what i'm talking about anyway i've seen different ways to do this kind of nail art but when i tried it freehand it was actually really really simple so i'm gonna do it freehand but you can use whatever you've got if you want to recreate this look so the other thing I kind of wanted to talk about during this video, which I feel might be relevant in some way, since we're talking about saving lives and which I can kind of transition, what? I had a stroke again. Transition into living your best life, maybe. I recently, and when I say recently, I mean tonight, uh, I asked my Facebook group, what if they could, would they leave behind in 2020? And I got some really interesting answers. Some of them were kind of deep. Some of them were very, very lighthearted, you know, like the quarantine 15, which by the way, I am all aboard on. I will happily leave the quarantine 15 in 2020 if, if I had my way. But I figured this might be a good time to talk about that kind of stuff and maybe what you want to do going forward for 2021. I don't know if I want to call it a resolution because I never keep New Year's resolutions ever so i don't want to call it that but here's your second question of the day i'm giving you a lot of homework right now i'm sorry <laughs> i'm not sorry at all i don't apologize i unapologize let me know down below if you made any i don't know promise to yourself that you would leave something behind in 2020 or what you might do differently for 2021 i can tell you for me on a personal level there's a lot i want to leave behind in 2021 uh, aside from the quarantine 15. That's at the top of the list, by the way. Other things that I feel like I want to leave behind for 2021 include, but are not limited to, because the list is really long. I could be here all day yapping about this stuff. I definitely want to leave behind a lot of negativity, uh, particularly toxicity when it comes to relationships. Like I'm starting to realize as I get older, that there are just certain people I should not be around. I don't know if you guys can relate at all, but I tend to be very intuitive and empathic and energy affects me. It affects me in a very, very strong way. And I just find when I'm around certain people, I don't do very well. It, it affects me. I know I said that a million times, but I become that negativity and I don't like it. I don't like it. It makes me feel icky. So that's one thing that I want to leave in 2020. I gotta be more particular about who I associate with. <laughs> that sounds super snotty, but I promise you it's not. It's really a matter of how do I want to be for myself and for my family. And that just means I can't be around certain people that are not good for me or for my kids for that matter. Another thing that I really want to leave behind in 2020 is my 
amazing ability to procrastinate. Seriously, seriously horrible. <laughs> I know most of you guys think I'm like so super organized and I really I kind of am. Like I pre-plan a lot and I pre-record a lot, but just to give you an idea, the video I'm doing a voiceover for right now, for, wow, <laughs> can't talk, uh, right now, I'm doing it three days beforehand, which is so not what I should be doing. I should have this pre-recorded and done like two weeks ago, but I film a lot ahead, which I'm very good with. I film a lot, but when it comes to doing voiceovers and actually uploading the videos, last minute, always last minute, and I'll have to do like three or four videos a night which is why it's always late night voiceovers. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try not to procrastinate so much. Uh, another thing that I was thinking about that I want to do different in 2021 or leave behind in 2020 is cancel culture. And I'm guilty of this, or I have been. I've been trying to be better with it because I feel like cancel culture is so real and relevant right now and it's like somebody screws up, somebody makes a mistake and we drop them like they meant nothing. And I just think it's sad. And again, I've done this, I've done this myself, but who are we or who am I? I'm not gonna speak for y'all, I'll speak for me. <laughs> who am I to sit here on a pedestal and say, nope, you messed up, you're done. What? That's just, it sounds terrible. And you know what? I got to sit there and think, what if I messed up? What if I made a mistake? Would I want someone to cancel me because I'm human and I faulted for a hot minute? No, of course not. So why would I do that to somebody else? So that's something else that I decided I'm leaving in 2020. I'm not going to do it anymore. It's the decade a decade no <laughs> we should be it's the year of second chances for mk that's what's happening so you guys will have to let me know if you're choosing to leave something behind in 2020 or if you're choosing to start something new for 2021 let me know down below i'm super nosy and would love to hear what you guys have to say um i'm gonna go ahead and shut up <laughs> I've been yapping for a good minute now. I'm going to let you guys watch me do my glitter um, encapsulation. Just doing it with some clear dip powder per usual. Get into a little bit of filing and buffing and I'll come back with you for a little nail art.
Did you enjoy your nap? <laughs> I feel like people just go to sleep when I start filing and that's fine. I wouldn't mind. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with my nail art and I'm going to be using this black gel polish from Sparkle & Co. You can do this with gel polish. You can do this with regular polish. You can do this with acrylic paint, whatever you are most comfy with. I'm just going to grab my liner brush. Just, uh, I think these are in my Amazon storefront if you want to check out the brushes that I'm using. I do have new brushes I just bought, so I may have to do a little, I don't know, review-ish type situation with them, but uh, I'll get there when I get there. I'm just going to do a really, really simple like EKG heartbeat type design on my index and on my pinky. And I freaking love the way this came out so much. It was so easy. You do have to have kind of a steady hand for this, but especially if you're using gel polish, it is so forgiving. As you will see a little bit later on, I'm going to grab a cleanup brush to just perfect those lines a little bit more. It's so easy to just it, it works like an eraser, oh, that cleanup brush and ac uh, not acetone, alcohol. You can just go in, perfect your lines, and because it's up and down and not like one straight line, I feel like it's a little bit easier than if you were doing like one straight line. You know what I'm saying? So super simple. But again, if you want to recreate this in some way, I know there are stamping plates, there are decals, there are those vinyls. That's what I was looking for earlier, nail vinyls. <laughs> I think I might have them actually. Um, didn't even bother looking for them. I'm like, ah, F it, I'm just gonna freehand this. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my index. I'm gonna get working on my pinky. I'm gonna let you guys watch and I'll be back with my final thoughts.
absolutely adored this one. Again, I, I feel like I say this about every Manny, but this is absolutely one of my faves. I love the way this came out. I love the I love what it represents. I love the colors. I love this company. All love, all the love here today. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil. Stay tuned because I have a video coming up. It's definitely this month. I don't know when. I was planning it for the beginning, but things kept piling up and piling up and pile up. But I do have a video coming um, probably in the next week or so that's gonna have a lot of candy skincare involved. <laughs> I don't know how or when, but it's gonna focus on self care because that's another thing that I want to take with me into 2021 is taking better care of me. And I hope you do too. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you had a great time and I will catch you in the next one. Love you, bye.